making fleur de sel caramel, uh, which are really look good in a picture. Little caramels that you can kind of wrap in parchment paper and give away as gifts. And what I've done here is I've put in two cups of sugar and a cup of golden corn syrup, and I'm adding half a teaspoon of, that's a little more than half a teaspoon, but sea salt, fine sea salt. And we put it on a medium heat, and we're going to let it come up to a temperature. I think it's at a 305. Uh, so we'll let that sit for a little bit. Okay, so it's come to a boil. It's nice. Oh, you got to look at that. That looks great. So I've added uh, two pats of butter, and now I'm adding two cups of cream very slowly because the caramel is very hot, and it's going to kind of bubble like that. <laughs> and just stir it in. Be careful when you're doing it too, because should probably be using a taller spoon because this is really hot. <laughs> and there it goes, it kind of bubbles up like that. Actually, I'm gonna try and get a a better spoon. bubbles up like that. I should probably already mention that I've turned off the heat uh, while I'm doing this. I'm just gonna, oh, it smells great. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay. okay, so I've turned the heat back on. I'm gonna let it cook a little more. And we're actually going to um, wait till it gets back up to a temperature of 305. Do you have one of these candy? I just picked up this candy thermometer. I'm really into thermometers lately for meat. <laughs> I've never known them to be so great. Okay, so I uh, turned off the heat. The car I said uh, 305 before, but it actually, if you want it to be soft and chewy, it has to be 260. Uh, if you want it a little bit firmer, it has to be 265. So we've gone to 265 because I don't want a soft and chewy caramel. Um, I've turned off the heat. I'm going to take it off the heat. Um, let's see here. I've lined a baking pan with parchment paper and kind of lightly greased the parchment paper so that the caramel doesn't totally stick to it. I've added a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're now going to add this. This is going to be <laughs> This is going to be interesting. I've never done this before, so I'm not sure if this is too much caramel for this pan or what, but let's give it a go. Oh my god, look at the color on this. Oh no, it's perfect. So just scoop it all out. Oh my, I'm in love with this color. I'm getting totally excited about this because it smells phenomenal and it looks great. I'm get the last, try and get the last bits of it. I don't want to waste it. Okay. I think that, that should be good. It's starting to harden up now, so we don't want it to get hard before. Okay, that's good enough. So you've got it line there. Oops. And on the top, because it is fleur de sel caramels, um, we're going to sp sprinkle fleur de sel all across the top. Try and get bits of it everywhere. What I might do is, it has to actually cool for three to four hours. So maybe partway through the process, because what I'm noticing is the salt is actually being absorbed in the caramel. And you kind of want some of it left on top to give it that nice kind of look to it. Make sure you get bits of the salt everywhere. Okay. So it says to wait three to four hours for the caramel to harden. It's only been an hour and I really couldn't wait any longer because I just got a little bit too excited. It's still a little soft, 
but I want to go ahead and try cutting it. So um, my advice to you is get someone who has a lot of upper body strength to make the initial cuts across the caramel. But basically, you're just cutting them into these cute little squares. It's really difficult to cut. But a little effort. Cute little caramel. You can just, I don't know what you want to do with those pieces, just eat them, I guess. And they make cute little gifts.